Hello and welcome all to the Mumble Overlay video tutorial. My name is Daniel Awesomeface and I will be your presenter for said video. And yes, I will uh, be forcing everyone to listen to some old-timey swing and jazz here in the background whilst we work. So, so um, getting things started, let's head and fire up Mumble. Click on the Configure button at the top and then Settings. Check off the Advanced box at the bottom left. Click on the Overlay option at the bottom of the list on the left. Then make sure that the Enable Overlay checkbox near the top just below Options here is in fact checked off. You'll notice two tabs, Layout and Overlay Exceptions. Uh, we'll click on Overlay Exceptions first. Click on Whitelist. And what this whitelist is, and what we're doing is, we're going to add Guild Wars 2.exe to the whitelist. The whitelist being a list of programs that we're telling Mumble, go ahead and work with it, with with these. We give you our permission, um, which we need. So after clicking whitelist, click the Add button, and this is just um, a window, Windows Explorer here, and Mumble's asking us to show it where this uh, GW2 Guild Wars 2.exe is. So let's show it. Um, click on computer on the left and then local disk C and program files x86 if you have two of these uh, in the list program files and program files x86 it's going to be program files x86 if you only have one well that makes it easy <laughs> uh, then click on Guild Wars 2 and then click once on GW2.exe and click open you'll notice it's now added to your list here. To finalize that, click Apply and OK. That's all we need to do with Mumble for right now. We'll get back to the rest later. In a perfect world, that would be all you would need to do. However, um, Guild Wars 2 has a known uh, problem with this Mumble overlay. It doesn't work uh, as it should because uh, the launcher, where you enter your email address and password and click play, at the very end, uh, when you click play and it goes to load into the game, it fails to uh, load a few necessary parts um, uh, necessary to the mobile overlay. So it, it basically the launcher breaks it. So we have a workaround, and that's to bypass the launcher altogether, uh, and therefore bypass the, the break. So, um, in order to make, uh, to do this workaround, we're going to need a Guild Wars 2 shortcut on the desktop. So if you already have a Guild Wars 2 shortcut somewhere on your desktop, you're all set. If you don't, uh, you'll need to make one, and this is how. Uh, you can click on the Start menu, and click on Computer if you like, or you, know, you can just hold the Windows button down and hit me. Uh, either way, we're opening up Windows Explorer, and we're going to go back to that very same location we just were. Let's make sure computer is check. Uh, uh, click computer on the left, and then go to local disk C, and program files x86, and then Guild Wars 2. And this time, when you find GW2.exe, we're going to right click it. And we're going to head down to the Send To option in the list, which presents a, a new menu. And over here, we're going to click on Desktop, Create Shortcut. And that does just as it sounds. Uh, and creates a shortcut on the desktop. So here we are. And uh, whenever you want to use a mumble overlay in the future, you're going to need to use a shortcut. So next up, we will right click on the shortcut and then go down to properties. And we're actually going to add a little bit of code into the target field here. This code will be posted in the forum post that links to this video. There are two sections of code. Um, we want to stick with the, the first one, uh, which is labeled in the, fo in the uh, forum post as the, the essential code. This should work. Um, that second bit of code is uh, for the few people that may still have trouble after this first section is added. Um, so I would recommend copying and pasting, uh, copying rather, that first line of code, um, the hyphen email, your email, hyphen password, your password, hyphen no patch UI, that, that line. And one thing to note is uh, we need to have spaces in here, um, <clears throat> in, in appropriate places in this target field. We want to go all the way to the very end of what's already in here, which is just after that last quotation mark. Then you need to enter, hit the space bar one time. Just enter one space in there. Then you can paste in. 
that code. You'll notice that there's a space between every phrase on here too. Um, it's you know hyphen email uh, space your email space hyphen password space and so on. Those m those spaces must be preserved. We're going to be changing some information in here, and we need to make sure that those spaces again are preserved. So um, to break down the code quickly, uh, this is telling G Guild Wars 2. Um, dot exe, it's we're, we're bypassing the launcher here, and that the launcher is where we enter our email and our password. Um, so the problem becomes, that, yeah, to launch a game, but you won't be signed in, so it won't work. So this injects your email password directly into the gw2.exe. The hyphen email is the code that says, okay, email's coming up, get ready. And then your email is changed to whatever email address you use to sign in. So we'll just say blobbity at blobbity.com, preserving the spaces just before and just after here. Uh, and then hyphen password, well, that's also telling gw2.exe, get ready for the password. And then you'll remove your password here, the, the phrase your password, and enter, you know, your pass, like awesome pass, <clears throat> we'll use for example. And then the hyphen no patch UI just tells it bypass the launcher. Um, okay, so I'm going to move this off screen and I'm actually going to enter my legitimate info here so that you can see um, how this works. And I'm just uh, entering in my email now okay and then click apply and okay and then you can go ahead and fire up the game sorry okay fire up the game here here we go <coughs> now this is all some people will see is this black screen uh, and they won't see their, you know, their character select screen. Well, that probably means either one of the spaces wasn't preserved, and, and some of the phrases are put together, or there's an extra space. Or uh, what happens most often from folks that I've I've helped set this up is they either use the wrong password or they they misspelled something, um, a, a comma instead of a period in dot com, or or one letter out of place they mistyped it. Um, those are the things to double, triple, and quadruple check. I, I've had some folks not realize it until the fourth or fifth time they've checked, uh, and then they just kind of kick themselves, but they get it to work. As you can see, hopefully up here, uh, there is in fact uh, an overlay, and it's working. It just has me up here right now. It only shows the people that are in the channel with you as you know that's all that matters you can't hear people in other channels anyway it'll show a little speaker or, or, or maybe, maybe the mumble mouth icon next to the name when they're talking I forget which so I'm gonna go ahead and close back out of this for now and what we're gonna do is um, let's see we need to uh, to avoid any future issues we need to alter both the mumble shortcut icon and your GW2 shortcut icon that we that we just worked on. Uh, we want them both to run as administrator. So just right click and go down to properties and that'll bring up you know this window here. Click on the compatibility tab and then just check off this run this program as an administrator uh, checkbox at the bottom. Apply and OK. That's done to both your mumble icon and your Guild Wars 2 icon here. <clears throat> um, so for folks that ended up with a black screen there when they tried to log in, uh, just hold the Alt button down and press F4 and I'll put that in the form notes too in case you don't get this far in the video and you, and you get all nervous. Um, I'll put that in there ahead of time um, just in case <laughs> and that closes out the window. Um, and then you can try this and uh, if this doesn't fix it then you can go back in and right click on this and go to properties and then in that target field at the very end of no patch UI put one space and then paste in that last bit of code that hyphen use old launcher that second bit of code and um, then you can hit um, apply and OK and give it one more shot now this workaround does not work for everyone it works for almost everyone but not everyone. So, for some folks, uh, if you're still getting a black screen at that point, it just means it's not going to work and unfortunately um, you'll have to wait until 
Field Wars 2 fixes their you know launcher to handle this mumble overlay properly. Um, let's see. What, oh yeah, let's go back in now then to the overlay, and I'm going to show you how to um, make it look the way you you want it to. How to change the settings on it. So I'm actually going to go back into our game here first. Um, and I would advise this as well. If you have the game off right now, turn it on before you go and work with the overlay settings because, as you'll see, once we get into <coughs> the actual overlay settings here in Mumble, it's going to pull up a neat little screenshot of you know whatever you have on your desktop. So if you've got a screenshot of the game up, then you can very nicely see where you're going to be dragging this window and resizing it to make sure it's not overlapping your... Um, you know, character, your your uh, any content that you you know, your quest log or anything like that. Um, it should just be another brief minute here, and I should log in. All right. Um, and it should be working. So now that we've got the game up and running, we're gonna go ahead and fire up uh, Mumble again if it isn't already running. Go back into configure and go back down to overlay on the left, the bottom of the list on the left. And now uh, we'll want the layout tab clicked here. Um, and you'll see it's got a screenshot of, of uh, the game because we're in the game. So this red circle is the uh, anchor point for the the overlay. You can drag it around wherever you like it. And whenever, if you want to test it and see, you know, if it looks good there, just hit apply, and then your game in the background it'll apply it, and you can see, oh yeah, that looks all right, or um, or it doesn't, and uh, you can make adjustments accordingly. Uh, I usually keep mine just under the little quest hub area here. Um, if you want to make it hover over the overlay and use your mouse scroll button, you can scroll up to make it larger. We'll hit apply to see the changes it makes. It makes it huge there. Um, and you can scroll down, of course, to make it smaller once again. I think this is roundabout where I... And you know, how it's going to look in the game, obviously. Uh, it gives you an exact <laughs> feel for it. Uh, and then we'll draw set and OK. And you are I'm going to take a quick moment and address uh, one of the only concerns that, that anyone's had, and that is some a few folks that, that aren't particularly technically savvy or just cautious um, had security concerns with this. Oh my gosh, I'm putting in my, my email address, my password. Well, um, I, I certainly insist that, that you look this up for yourself so to feel confident in this, but I, I can tell you um, I've been in this field, the IT consultant field, I've had my own business for about uh, almost 13 years now. I had it for about 10 years, and then I changed to web design recently here, but that, that's what I did. And I can guarantee that there's no security risk in this. What it's doing is um, it's taking the shortcut with the here is taking our short and it's actually one my actual <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll cheat and use basically this is the shortcut and the it's the actual but on ours it's gw2.exe what we're doing is adding some code from the shortcut to GW2EXE, uh, not to the internet, not to anything else. It's going directly from the shortcut to what's listed in this target, which in this case is Mumble, because I'm using my Mumble properties. I don't want to show, if I bring it up now, it'll show all my, my actual login info. Um, and this is going to be a public YouTube video, so. <laughs> um, but you'll see in yours, it goes directly to GW2.EXE, which we set up when we created this shortcut. Um, again, so it's just adding that information on. Here's the email address, here's the password, and it's just injecting it right into gw2.exe. Um, so again, there's no security risk in that, uh, involved with that. And that's it. I hope this helps, and I can't wait to see you all in game. Take care, and I will see you later. Bye.